Good morning, everyone. I read something this morning that said to stay young, you need to do something foolish. So we could take yoga as an opportunity to do that. Make a fool of yourself. And the best part is nobody will ever know because you're in the comfort of your own home doing something great for your body and your mind and I have a goal today I'm gonna try to speak up because I know that is my fault I have a very soft voice which might make it soothing but you have to be able to hear me so I want everybody to think of a fault that they have that they're gonna work on today and we're going to carry that through the workout with us and find that inner strength to overcome it. <clears throat> we're going to begin flat on our backs, lying on our mat in corpse pose because it's morning and we're probably stiff, sleeping all night, or maybe you worked all night and you're just tired. So let's start to do our do some deep breathing and get that energy flowing. This will be about an hour workout. I would like some feedback on that if you guys prefer 45 minutes or an hour. I try to do 45 minutes but then I can't get my whole workout in. So it'll probably be an hour today. And it's going to be power yoga with some abs mixed in. Uh, I can't think of anything else I need to tell you. Yoga tomorrow. Same time? No morning yoga? Oh, yoga at 7 a.m. for you early birds. I won't be joining in that one. That one is with Krista. It will be fabulous. Her first one was great. Her second one will be even better. Okay. Straighten out your legs flat on your mat. Point your toes. Lift your hands above your head. Reach. Stretching. Making that nice big stretch of the morning. Opening all those spaces, growing, making yourself grow. It is said that people grow after doing yoga for a while. Bringing your left leg into your chest, swinging it out to the left slightly and pulling it into your arm. Inhale, point your left toe, exhale. Lifting your right foot, flattening out that leg so straight that your heel comes off the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Dropping that leg, lifting your right leg, swinging it out and pulling it into your chest until you feel that pinch. Pointing that right toe, straightening that left leg so straight that your heel comes off. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and slowly exhale. And now bringing your left leg up to join your right, pulling your knees into your chest Keeping your back flat on the mat. <clears throat> the goal in yoga most of the time is to have a flat spine. <clears throat> so like me, you might not be able to get your legs to your chest this early in the morning. Inhale. And exhale. Exhale. 
and not dropping your feet to the mat, putting your hands on your belly and begin to practice hollowing that stomach out. Inhale, fill it up with air. Exhale, release all that air and hollow out your belly, pushing your back into the mat, tipping your pelvis slightly. Inhale. And exhale, pushing your back into the mat, pulling that belly button to the spine. Remember this position anytime I ask you to bring your belly button to your spine. We want to be close, as close to this as possible. This is what gives you that nice flat tummy. Bring your knees back into your chest for one more big hug, lifting your head, bringing your forehead to your knees. Pulling that belly button to spine. And now grabbing your toes. Inhale. And on the exhale, lift your leg. Pull your belly button in. Legs, sorry. Practice pulling that stomach in. Obviously on your inhale, you're not going to be able to keep it in. But every time you exhale, Pull it in. And now crossing your legs, coming up to a seated position. <laughs> Inhale, raise your hands up high, touching your fingertips together, exhaling back to the ground. Find that straight, nice posture in your back and shoulders. Inhale. Looking up, exhale, release into the mat. Now bringing your hands in front of you on the mat, spreading your fingers wide, and coming back into plank. First plank of the day. Pull that stomach in. Sink your back between your shoulders. You're straight from your forehead to your heels. Inhale, and on your exhale, push back into down dog. Back is flat. Shoulders are pushed towards the mat. Your legs are probably not straight at this point, unless you're really flexible. Bend your knees. We're not stretching your legs right now. We're pushing our shoulders to the mat, spreading those fingers, arching that back. Inhale. As you exhale, begin to straighten your legs as much as you can, getting your heels to the mat. I can't get them there yet, so I'm not going to go there. And bringing your right leg between your hands, runner's lunge, slowly sink your hips, inhale, exhale, sink. Bringing your right leg back into plank, left leg forward into runner's lunge, sinking your hips slowly. Now bringing your right leg forward, standing forward, then grab your toes, inhale, lengthen, exhale, pulling your chest to your thighs, bending your legs so you can get your chest resting on your thighs. Wrapping your arms behind your legs, giving them a hug, pulling your chest in, shaking your head side to side, loosening that neck. Inhale, exhale, fingers to the mat, lengthen your spine to a good monkey. Inhale, grab your toes, exhale, pull. Bending your legs as you need to, hinging at your hips. Now bringing your hands into your elbows, letting your head fall, relaxing your neck. Your upper body is like a waterfall coming out of your hips. Sw swinging side to side gently. <coughs> Uh, 
And now bringing your hands to the mat on the next inhale, reverse swan all the way to high mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Chest first and then your head follows. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step your right leg back and your left, lowering yourself to the mat into your vinyasa. Up dog. Inhale. Exhale, down dog, using your stomach to pull yourself up. Bringing your left leg forward between your hands and your right. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, standing forward, bend. Inhale, reverse swan to high mountain. Exhale, swan dive, letting your chest and then your head drop. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, stepping your right leg back and your left, lowering chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bringing your left leg forward and your right. Exhaling, standing forward, bend. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Step your right leg back and your left, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now begin to walk out your legs. Stretching those legs a little more. Swinging your hips side to side. We're going to begin our workout. Bring your right leg forward into runner's lunge. Dropping your left heel to the mat, flattening out your foot. Coming, inhale your arms up into lunge. Slowly exhale, sinking your hips. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Dropping your hands to the mat, bringing your right leg all the way up to three-legged down dog. Don't compromise your position here. Hips are parallel. Shoulders are sinking. And opening up your hip. We're going to prepare to flip the dog in our next sequence. And bringing your right leg forward. Coming up, inhale, high crescent, exhale, sinking. Bringing your hands behind you, clasping them together, opening your chest. Look up, inhale, exhale, folding forward. Arms are up, pulling that belly in. And dropping your hands to the mat, coming to the center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, sink. Bring your left leg to your right to side crow. Your first balance of the day. And release to the head of the mat. Standing forward, bend, exhale. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Bring your left leg forward. Dropping your right knee. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, sink your hips. 
Inhale. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Exhale, lowering your hands to the mat. Up on your back toe, left leg is back, and up into three-legged down dog. Hips are parallel, shoulders are sinking. Opening up your hip, bending your leg, preparing to flip the dog. And swinging that leg forward to high crescent. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, sink. And bringing your hands to the mat. Walking center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. Bringing your right leg to your left. Coming into side crow. And releasing to the head of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, swan dive. Monkey. Exhale, jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Bring your right leg forward. Low crescent. Inhale. Arching. Exhale, sinking. Inhale, arching. Exhale, sink. Hands to the mat. Right leg is back and up to three-legged down dog. Opening your hip. This time flipping if you like. Arching with that right arm, reaching. I know it's morning, but you'll warm up. Tipping back into three-legged down dog. Swinging it forward to high crescent. Inhale, exhale, sink. Inhale, arch. Exhale, sink. Dropping our hands to the mat. Coming to the center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, sinking. Bringing your left leg to meet your right. Getting that arm high as you can on your left leg. Finding your balance and coming into side crow. Releasing to the head of the mat. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, swan dive. Jump back. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg is forward. Inhale up. Low crescent. Inhale, arch. Exhale, sink your hips. Coming forward on the mat. Left leg is back and up. Three-legged down dog. Opening that hip. Bending your knee. And flipping. And coming back. Swinging it forward to high crescent. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, arch. Exhale, sink. Hands to the mat. Walking center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. <clears throat> Let's see. Bring the right foot to meet the left. Side crow. And coming to the head of the mat. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, all the way to high mountain. Exhale, 
Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, three-legged down dog, right leg is up. Bringing it forward to runner's lunge. Now walking your foot to the right side of your right hand, dropping your right hand next to it, reaching up with your left, sinking your hips and looking up. Inhale, exhale, switching your arms, sinking your hips. And now bringing that right leg back, coming into side plank. Taking this where you want it. I'm staying right here. You can lift your leg. You can grab your toe. And back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Bring your right leg forward to pigeon. Sinking those hips. Inhale, arching. Exhale, coming forward on your elbows. Inhale. Exhale, flattening to the mat. If you can, you just take this where you can. You might be right up here. That's okay, you just stay there. If you want more, then you slowly go to the next spot. If your forehead is on the mat, make sure your left hip is not letting go and coming up. Keep it parallel and pushing towards your ankle. Pulling your belly in. And concentrate on releasing that right hip. And pushing yourself up, begin to arch your back. And coming back into plank, pushing back into down dog. I mean, up on your toes, looking forward, step or jump to meet your hands. Exhale, reverse swan, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Left leg is up. And now bringing that forward between your hands. Runner's lunge. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Walking your foot out to the left side of the mat. Your arm is on the inside of your leg. Raising your right hand up. Inhale. Exhale, sinking your hips. Dropping your right hand to the mat. Inhale, your left up. Exhale, sink your hips. Dropping your hand to the mat. Bringing your left leg back. Coming into side plank. Taking this where you want it. Pull your hips up. You can raise your right leg, or you can grab your toe and lift. I'm hanging out right in first position. Because <clears throat> it's morning, and I don't feel like doing it. Now I'm coming back into plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. You can do another push-up here as you push into down dog. Inhale. Exhale, bringing your left leg forward into pigeon. Opening up those hips, using your back toes to walk it out. Inhale, arching. Exhale, coming forward on your elbows. Inhale. 
and exhale coming all the way down again taking this where you want to keeping that right hip pushed down towards your ankle pulling your belly in and releasing that hip with each exhale now bringing your hands back up inhale arching exhale coming into plank and back to down dog inhale up on your toes looking forward step or jump exhale standing forward bend inhale reverse swan exhale swan dive inhale monkey exhale step or jump back chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog up on your toes look forward step or jump exhale standing forward bend inhale reverse swan exhale swan dive inhale monkey exhale step or jump back chaturanga up dog exhale down dog one more up on your toes inhale looking forward exhale jump inhale all the way up exhale swan dive monkey exhale jumping back chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog bring your right leg up in the air reaching pointing your toe sinking your shoulders and coming forward to runner's lunge walking that foot out to the right left hand is up inhale exhale sink dropping your left inhale your right hand up exhale sinking your hips dropping that hand right leg is back coming into side plank lifting your hips taking this where you want it this time maybe push yourself a little more by lifting your leg remember making a fool of yourself is a good thing right coming forward into plank chaturanga up dog if you want more add that push-up before coming into down dog bring your left leg up in the air swinging it forward oh no I'm sorry come back into down dog I forgot pigeon right leg is up swing it forward into pigeon walking your hips back inhale arching exhale coming to your elbows inhale exhaling to the mat keeping that left hip pushed down inhale exhale pulling your belly in releasing that right hip inhaling back up arching and coming neutral and now raise your back leg reaching back with your hand again taking this where you can or want if you don't want to do this that's okay here's the first level inhale exhale if you want more bring your foot into your elbow inhale and exhale joining your hands if you want looking up opening your chest inhale and exhale and dropping that foot to the mat coming up into plank and pushing back into down dog walk your legs out a little bit inhale up on your toes looking forward exhale step or jump inhale all the way up exhale swan dive 
Monkey. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Adding that push up if you want. Exhale, down dog. Left leg is up in the air. Pointing that toe, reaching. Stepping forward. Runner's lunge. Exhale, sink. Walking that leg out to the left. Right arm is up. Inhale. Exhale, sink in your hips. Inhale, your left hand up. Right arm is down. Exhale, sink in your hips. Both hands to the mat. Left leg is back. Coming into left side plank. Hips are up. Taking this where you want it. Lifting your leg or grabbing your toes, keeping those hips up. Coming back into plank, chaturanga, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bring your left leg up in the air, bringing it forward into pigeon. Walking your right leg back. Inhale, arch. Exhale, coming to your elbows. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale, coming to the mat. Sinking, dropping that right hip. Releasing the left. One more inhale. And exhale. Bringing your hands back, pushing yourself up. Inhale, arching. Exhale, coming neutral. Bringing that back leg up, reaching back, pulling it in as much as you can, raising that left hand for balance. Inhale. Exhale, bringing that foot into your elbow and reaching back. Inhale, opening your chest. Looking up and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Releasing back to the mat. Coming back into down dog. We're going to do that sequence one more time. Adding a little bit different onto pigeon. Inhale up on your toes. Looking forward. Step or jump. Exhale, inhale all the way up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Again, adding that push up if you want. Coming into three legged down dog. Inhale, pointing and reaching. Exhale, swinging it forward to the outside of your right hand. Inhale, your left arm up. Exhale, sink your hips. Inhale, your right hand up. Exhale, sink your hips. Dropping that hand to the mat. Right leg is back, coming into the right side plank. Hips are up. Lift your left leg. It's the last one. Let's make it good. Push yourself. Find that fool inside you. Coming back into plank, chaturanga, up dog. Adding that push up, exhale, down dog. Inhale your left leg up, swinging it forward. I oh, know, sorry, back to down dog. Right leg is forward in pigeon. Walking your hips back, inhale, arching. Exhale, coming neutral. Raising your back leg, grabbing it, the top of your foot, not on the inside of your foot like we normally do, but keeping it on the outside. And then reaching back with your right hand, pulling your shoulders open, opening your chest. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. And releasing back to down dog. 
Inhale your left leg up. Swinging it forward to runner's lunge. Wide to the left side. Inhale your right hand up. Exhale, sinking. Inhale your left hand up. Exhale, sink your hips. Dropping your hand to the mat. Bring your left leg back, coming into side plank. Pulling that belly button in all the way to your spine. Raising your leg. Grabbing your toe if you want. Coming back into plank. Chaturanga. Adding that push up if you want. Exhale, down dog. Your left leg up in the air. Exhaling forward into pigeon. Inhale, arching. Exhale, neutral. Lifting that back leg, reaching back. And with your left, opening your chest. And releasing back to down dog. Inhale your right hand, leg up, bringing it forward, warrior one. Dropping your back heel, coming up. Inhale, exhale, sink. Inhale, opening to warrior two. Exhale, sink. Inhale, coming into warrior three. Exhaling to half moon. Inhale, grab your leg if you want. Exhale, pulling up. Dropping that hand, inhale. Exhale, reaching back to reverse half moon. Dropping both hands to standing split. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching. Pointing that left toe. And now dropping back into warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Reaching forward, palm is up. Reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, sinking your hips. Now straightening out that leg and arching a little deeper. Reverse triangle. And now reaching forward, coming into triangle as far as you can, dropping your arm, raising your left arm up. Micro bend in the knee. Your hand can be up on your shin, on the mat, or can be flat. Now dropping that left hand, bringing your right foot in slightly, raising your right hand up, reverse triangle. Inhale and exhale. Dropping that arm to the mat, left leg, right leg is back to down dog, up on your toes, looking forward, step or jump, exhale, standing forward, bend, inhale, reverse swan, exhale, swan dive, inhale, exhale, jump back, chaturanga, up dog, adding that push up if you want, Exhale, down dog. Inhaling your left leg up. Reaching, pointing that toe. Stepping forward, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Now coming into warrior three. Inhale, 
exhaling to half moon. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale, reaching your back for your leg and raising it up. Dropping your right leg or right hand. Right leg is straight back. Left leg or left arm is up. I'm getting tired. Half, reverse half moon. If you want more, reach back for your leg and lift. Opening your chest, raising your hip. Dropping both hands to the mat to standing split. Inhale and exhale. Reaching, pointing. Coming back to warrior one. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Reaching forward, coming back, reverse warrior. Straightening out that front leg. I gotta come forward a little more. Reverse triangle. And reaching forward as far as you can and then dropping that arm. Both legs are straight. Right arm is up. Your hand is, your left hand is on your shin. Fingertips on the mat or your hand is flat. Keep breathing. Now dropping your right hand to the mat. Bringing your right foot in slightly. Reverse triangle. Dropping that hand to the mat. Left leg is back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now we're going to do a couple handstands here. I've had a request to try to walk through it a little bit more detailed. I'll do my best. Okay, find a wall. Um, this wall is not going to work for me. So I'll come to the side. Can you see me if I go to this wall? Okay. About a foot away from the wall, you're going to put your hands, spread your fingers wide. And they're about shoulder distance apart. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit further. I think it might be easier if you spread them a little further. Get more of a broad base. Whatever feels right. A lot of this is just finding where that balance is when you're up in the handstand. And then when you come up, you're going to raise your legs like you're in down dog. And then come forward right so your shoulders are directly above your hands. And begin to walk your legs forward. And then drop your head. And use one leg at a time to push up. Whichever one feels better for you. And then when you find that wall, you're going to push up as high as you can out of your shoulders. You're strong. Your core also needs to be strong for this because that's what holds your balance. That's what holds your legs. And then test yourself. Come away from the wall. You can bring your head up and look at the floor. I think that's all I'm good for. I'm pretty tired already. I'll give you a moment to play around with that. And when you're done, come, make sure you come into child's pose because you have all kinds of blood rushing to your head now. This is also good for your immune system. 
because when you're upside down, you're draining your lymph nodes, which is the sewer, the sewage of your body. <clears throat> okay, now let's try another one. This time coming into dolphin. This one's a little bit harder, but go ahead and try it. Make a fool of yourself. Walking up, and when you're ready, pushing up to the wall. Again, your head is going to come forward, so you're looking at your fingers, and then look for that balance. Squeezing your core and your back, your stomach. Coming up out of your shoulders and coming into child's pose. <sighs> that was hard. I think that's the longest I've ever balanced in that one. It takes practice. But I promise you'll get there eventually. And we'll end with a headstand. This one's a little bit easier. I'll give you two options. You can fold your hands together and make a cup with, with a little uh, point your thumbs where your thumbs are coming together. And then drop your head right into that cup so the crown of your head is flat on the ground. And then find where it's comfortable to put your elbows. I like to put mine just slightly more than shoulder width apart. Or if you want to bring your hands up to 90 degrees. Some people find this one a little bit easier. I like this one. I think this one, I don't know. Just give it a try. See what you think. Walking your legs up till your back is flat like it's already in a headstand. And kick your legs up. Pulling your belly in and making yourself straight as you can using those shoulders so you don't fall forward. And you can play around here if you want. Bring your legs into lotus. Or spread them into split. I'm not doing that today. I'm feeling pretty tired. Again, coming out of your shoulders. Pushing up. Good posture, even in your headstand. And when you're ready, coming back to the mat. To child's pose. And I think my time is up. I had so much more fun to do. But it's been an hour. So my next workout I'll try to fit it all in. Maybe we'll do one balance pose. I mean, the headstands are, are a balance pose. But it's always good to start your day off with some good focused balance. <clears throat> okay, Bring, coming into standing forward bend, exhale, pulling yourself into your knees, inhale, reverse swan, coming up slowly because you were just in that headstand, exhale, your hands to heart center, we're going to do, do um, eagle here. Finding all that balance on your left leg, spreading your toes wide, your leg has come, become like a tree. Test yourself by lifting your right leg and then slowly wrap it around your left. 
hands are still at heart center. If you're ready, raise your hands up so your elbows are 90 degrees, dropping that right one below the left, interlacing your arms together, palms are flat together. Find that spot about six to eight feet in front of you and focus. Pull your belly in, straighten out your back, and start to sink your hips. Inhale, exhale. Someone's pulling a string, so you're pulling up straight, and you're also sinking. Raising your elbows slightly. Feel that stretch in your shoulders. And slowly releasing hands to the side. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, heart center. Spreading your right toes, finding that, that balance, that strength. Begin to wrap your left leg around. Focusing on that spot in front of you. Bringing your left arm underneath your right. Bringing your elbows up. Inhale. Straighten your posture. Pull your belly in. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Elbows up. Exhale, sinking your butt back. Not your knees forward, your butt back. Back is flat. and releasing hands to heart center inhale your hands up exhale hands to heart center <clears throat> now coming back to your mat into corpse pose we'll do a couple minutes of relaxation and then you'll be ready for your day Slowly lower to the mat, using your stomach. Arms are up above you, pointing your toes, one big stretch. And exhaling your hands down to the side, palms are up. Feet are splayed out and open to the sky. Deep, slow inhale through your nose. Exhale, blowing through that straw. One more inhale. And exhale. And now let your body take over your breathing. Closing your eyes. Emptying your mind. Focus on relaxing your body. Not thinking about the day. This moment is yours. Releasing your shoulders. And your cheeks and your jaw, your forehead. Let your eyebrows relax. Keep that mind empty. Finding that intense focus. Relaxing your hips and your knees your wrists and your ankles. Push those thoughts out of your mind. Keep it empty. And think about nothing. You deserve five minutes of your day to empty your mind and do nothing. Feeling your chest rise and fall.
as you feel those thoughts start to creep in your mind, push them away. They are not allowed in yet. This is your time. begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes slowly waking your body up inhale your an your hands up above you reaching pointing your toes one last big stretch exhale your hands behind your neck and bringing your knees up we're gonna do five good crunches here to get that blood moving again inhale lengthen exhale crunch pulling your belly in inhale lengthen 